Hey, it's Jay Cohen. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. You know, when you're doing photography, Mother Nature quite often does not cooperate. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add streaking clouds to an image to make it look like this. Let's get started. Hey, it's Jay again. So when I do architectural photography, uh, I like to use long exposures. I love it when you get some cloud movement up above the building. I think it adds something to the image, makes it more dynamic. However, uh, Mother Nature usually is not cooperating. And so quite often I get a bright blue sky with no clouds, or I get an overcast sky with gray clouds uh, that you really can't work with. In fact, that's what happened with with this image. It was a very gray morning. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can add clouds to an image uh, like you'd get from a long exposure. Uh, keep in mind there's a lot of ways of doing things in Photoshop. This is just my methodology, but generally it works pretty well and it's pretty simple too. So the first thing you need to do is to uh, make a selection of the sky. I've done that already. I've saved it. Aptly named sky. So I'm going to make that selection. Next thing you want to do is to create a new layer with that selection. So you can go down to the icon in the lower right, uh, create new layer, hit it. So now we have a brand new layer with just this bit selected. Next thing we need to do is add some clouds. And so let's go to filter, render, clouds. And what you're going to get is a sky filled with clouds that are not very natural looking at all. Uh, and that's okay, we'll work with that, but this is a good starting point. Let's put a layer mask on that. So you have the icon down in the lower right to add a layer mask. So now you can see in the mask only the white bit you can work with, which is just the clouds, which is perfect. What I want to do is get rid of some of these clouds. And so I can choose my brush tool, paint in black, and you see the foreground is black, and start getting rid of some of these clouds you have to have some sense of which direction you want these clouds to be moving or streaking uh, and you kind of paint it that way. So I'm going to make it obviously in a diagonal here. Uh, and you don't want it to be very even necessarily so you can make a smaller brush there, maybe a much bigger brush over here. And then the next thing you want to do is get rid of some of the clouds that are right near the building. So again I'm just painting in black to, to get rid of these clouds because they can bleed into the building. You don't want that. All right, so these will be my clouds that I'm working with. Uh, the next thing you want to do, make sure you have not the mask selected, but the actual uh, clouds. So I'll have that selected. And then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. blur. And so now with the Motion Blur, you can have it go in different directions with this dial here. I wouldn't want it that way. I want the motion to be in line with how I've, how I've drawn the clouds, which is this way. And you can have it less blurred by, um, by changing the distance here. I usually go all the way over uh, to make it really blurry. Uh, hit OK. In fact, you'd say, well, gee, I'd like it even more blurry than that. You can go up to Filter, and right at the top it says Motion Blur. That will repeat what I just did. So I'm going to click it again, and you'll see those clouds get a little blurrier. Let's try it again, just for the hell of it. So you get a sense, you get these great streaks in the sky. Now, to me, this is a little bit too bright. So what I want to do is go to this layer and reduce the opacity. So if I pull it back, yeah, you get something that looks more realistic. Uh, at this point I'm at 30 percent, 32 percent. Something like that works for me pretty well. You can add other clouds that may be higher layer or layer lower layer of clouds that move in different directions as well. You can really play with it. Um, and you can, you know, again go in with your with your brush and uh, change the shape of the clouds as well. But this gives you a sense of how to do it. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for future videos. Uh, and until next time.